Regardless if you're trying to sell something, if you're a coach, a teacher, or you're simply just trying to communicate a message, it is important to become a better speaker. And I wanna show you five examples on how you can improve your speaking. How's it going guys? This is Jesse Scalante with Design Your Lifestyle Online. Patrick Bed David from Valuetainment brings out a lot of great content and I like to share most of that stuff with you guys. One of the segments that he spoke about was about speaking, how you can communicate a message much more clearly. There are many important figures that have spoke to either thousands of people or even just collectively to a group. This can be a coach like Phil Jackson in the locker room. This can be a president of the United States like Barack Obama. All these speakers have their own way of speaking. They don't copy what other people are doing, but what they do have in common are very clear points. Although all these figures have their own way of speaking, they all share very similar points that allow them to communicate their message very, very clearly to a simple group or even to crowds and arenas of people. So let's get started with the first point. The first point is captivating the attention of the person or audience that you're speaking to. You wanna to get to a point where you're just listening to this other person and there's nothing else going on. The communication is done so well and smoothly that even though there's a lot of people around you, it literally feels like it's just you and that other person speaking. If you're able to understand, apply, and master this first concept, it will be very easy for you to communicate your message very well in front of other people. The second way to become a better speaker is by telling stories. As a soccer coach, I'm always using stories from the past to motivate others. For example, there was a game when we were down 2-0 with our high school boys soccer team. And I said, hey guys, I know it doesn't seem like the best case scenario right now, but in, in our college one division game, there was a point when we were losing 2-0 and we needed to win that game. Instead of us scoring that first goal in the very beginning of the second half, we got scored on and we were down 3-0. We were able to come back and win 4-3. A story like that motivates somebody and at the same time they're paying attention because it relates so much to the situation we are in. A lot of older people use the example of, well, 30 years ago I remember when blah blah. Or I remember 25 years ago we used to do things this way and that's how I became that person. Great examples. The third way to become a better speaker is by rehearsing. You gotta prepare, you gotta over prepare, especially when you are a rookie to communication. One time I had to give a 10 minute speech. I had never given a 10 minute speech. So I had to stand in front of a mirror for over about two and a half hours, just preparing that same speech. And I only landed to about eight minutes. So I had to prepare even more content. It was difficult. I'm not kidding you, when I had to go over that same speech that would land me 10 minutes in front of people, I had to prepare it for at least 35 times. As the quiet kid in class, it was kind of surprising for a lot of people to hear my message so clearly, but it took a lot of practice. Alongside that, I was practicing a lot of eye communication. It was almost like a dance. Patrick Bid David describes it as a dance. You gotta look left and right and make sure that you're communicating the message. You don't wanna stay and talk to somebody so long here. <laughs> they almost feel embarrassed. You gotta be communicating back and forth to the audience. The fourth way to become a better speaker is by connecting with your audience and knowing your audience. There's a lot of times as a soccer coach that I can teach the same principles to a toddler and to a professional. When sharing and teaching those principles to a toddler, you gotta know that they're gonna be wandering around. This just happened yesterday. And it's very difficult because it, they get distracted so easily, whereas a professional soccer player is, not only do they get paid to play, but they will listen to the advice that is given by somebody that knows what they're talking about. In other words, if you're speaking to children and people that wander around, you maybe have to talk a little bit slower. You have to repeat a lot of this stuff. Whereas somebody older who actually understands what you're talking about, you can go a little bit more in depth about what you're speaking about. And the final way to become a better speaker is by being yourself. Do not try to sound like somebody else. Figure out what kind of way do you speak? Do you speak a little bit slower? Do you speak a little bit faster? Do you say things by story? How do you speak and how do you communicate your message? Once you figure out what kind of speaker you are and what type of way you're gonna be communicating that message, specify and stay true to that message. The way you communicate is gonna come from hours of craft, from many, many speeches to many other people and audiences. 
Notice how other people react to you. If they're yawning, if they're tired, if they're not paying attention, then maybe you need to switch and have a little bit more energy. If the reaction of the people that you're speaking to is positive, then you're most likely in the right path. It won't be easy, but the only way to become better at it is by practicing, practicing, practicing. I hope you found a lot of value in those points and maybe you take some of those concepts and apply them so that you can become a better communicator, a better speaker. It doesn't matter what type of profession that you have, it's important to communicate your message well so that people below you or people above you respect you and understand what your message is all about. I encourage you guys to like and share if you're on Facebook and if you're on YouTube, make sure to subscribe and hit the notification tab so that you can get more content like this. We'll talk again very soon guys. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.